All right, guys, y'all know we have built us a grain silo on a massive 32 by 32 foot deck. We have the receipts right here. We're gonna break it down and we're gonna figure out uh, how much it costs step by step and why we didn't do what? A cement slab. Why didn't we just build a normal house? Why didn't we do this? We're gonna answer all your questions. How's the plumbing gonna go? How's the electric gonna go? All of that you guys ask all the time. Mm -hmm. Let's break this down. Let's go. So we're gonna start with the uh, foundation in case some of you guys haven't followed along. We have videos for this, the whole step. But we started by digging holes. They were two feet in the ground. So our frost line here in Oklahoma wow. is roughly 18 inches. Yeah, so we just went ahead and did two feet and then uh, we poured that with concrete with rebar, three uh, pieces of rebar each inside and then uh, leveled them out in a two by six uh, frame that we built is actually two feet by two feet made of two by sixes and so far it's worked out great yeah uh, this was something that was a little scary for us we didn't know what to expect we didn't know how much concrete we were going to buy we ended up buying 4800 pounds of concrete yes so we ended up getting 60 bags of 80 pound bags of concrete and it was a lot we had to yeah. do multiple trips running to our local place getting it uh, each one of those bags cost roughly five dollars a bag so that was three hundred dollars right there for the concrete and then the rebar we got 45 pieces of rebar because we have 15 holes three pieces of rebar each and those were roughly two dollars a piece and so we end up buying um, 90 dollars worth of rebar for that so that's just concrete and rebar was 390 dollars when we stood back it looked like nothing yeah nothing we're like holy cow that's a lot of money and it looks like nothing <laughs> Because most of it is in the ground, you don't yeah. see it. Uh, but it ended up coming out really well. They came out level and great. Uh, we tried our best to get them level and truly they came out great. I'm very proud yeah. how they turned out. Definitely recommend doing it yourself. It is not as scary once the process is over. You look yeah. back, you're like, okay, it's tedious, but you can get it done. Mm -hmm. And then we let that cure. For We let it cure for over a week mm -hmm. uh, before we did anything with it and then it takes 28 days to get to full strength which as of right now they're there. Mm -hmm. Then on top of this cement slab to anchor our 6x6 posts that we wanted we bought 6x6 brackets that go on top of the concrete and then you have to drill holes and put anchors inside mm -hmm. and we ended up buying 15 of those 6x6 brackets those were $28.98 each. That's crazy. It to me. Yeah, it ended up or being a bracket. It yeah. ended up being $437.70 just for 15 brackets. <laughs> but you need that to secure mm -hmm. it to the concrete. I understand why it costs that much. But holy cow, we were like, we spent more on brackets than we did concrete and rebar. That's insane. This is crazy. And then as far as the anchors go, we bought a whole pack. We had some extra, but the whole pack uh, ended up being $26.98. So for the concrete in the ground, the rebar in the ground, the anchors uh, on top, and the bracket, total for all of that that still looked like nothing on the ground ended up being eight hundred and fifty four dollars and sixty eight cents we were already almost a thousand dollars into this and, and it looked like nothing, nothing. Okay. we were like holy cow we're getting in over our head at this point should we have already just paid for a slab mm -hmm. we already paid almost a thousand dollars for a couple of holes should we have done a slab mm -hmm we'll get into that okay so we have the main foundation down on the ground the concrete rebar anchors and brackets well we use the brackets to keep the uh, six by six post that we're going to use off the ground you don't want them touching the ground because they will rot faster so we bought six by six posts that we we're going to cut and we bought four of them we didn't know for sure if we were going to need them all. Yeah. We didn't know how high the deck was going to be because the ground it's isn't so unlevel. Yeah, it's not level at all. So we were a little worried. So we bought four of them because we're going to at most have them two feet high at most. So we got four six by six by eight posts. This is all every piece of lumber on here is treated. They were $28.98 each. So it was $115 for four boards yeah. for four boards so we're like holy cow this is going to really start adding up again on top of the boards we ended up using brackets to hold our beams that we were going to build each one of those we had to buy 15 of them each one of those was a nine dollars and 13 cents 
which ended up being $136.95. Uh, and, and then we bought two boxes of nails yes. and one box of screws. Yes, so we can hook the brackets in. We use screws because we're a little worried at first. Do we need to move them, and, you know, do different things? And then also the screws pull the brackets in and we only used one screw on each side to set it in place and then we went back and put nails in the rest. We used joist hanger nails, uh, I think an inch and a half or two inches, I don't remember, I don't remember in the that. moment. But each box uh, that we bought of the joist hanger nails were $21.98 each. That was $43.96 just for the nails. The deck screws ended up being $21.96. So at this point we have a uh, six by six that's under two feet mm -hmm. and we bought four of them cut them up split them between all of them we had the bracket sitting on top and the nails and screws holding it all in the total for that was three hundred and seventeen dollars and eighty seven cents so this is where a little bit of money that we highly highly recommend you spending if you don't have it already we bought a laser level so this is added into the cost this because I think it was 100% necessary. Yes, yes. So we're not adding in any other tools. This is the only tool that we're adding in in this build because it's highly needed. And if we didn't do it, we would have built all the beams and had to redo them Yes. because we were off. We started on the wrong side because we don't have any knowledge in this. We bought the level, we figured it out, and that was $249 for a laser. It was a lot of money for a laser, but Worth I would it. do it over and over again. Yes. And uh, it worked out perfect. It's a little difficult to see. But we made it work. We made it work, yeah. and this deck is the best deck we have ever built. Mm -hmm. It is level. Props to the laser. Yes, level, level, level. So yeah. highly recommend $249 for that level. Okay, so now we're at the point for our beams. This is where you can do a couple different things, but we saved some money doing it this way. Yes, we didn't buy six by six beams uh, that were 16 feet long because I believe they were $89 a piece for a six by six by 16. That's a lot of money because we ended up needing uh, 10 of them, I believe. So we were gonna spend a ton of money on that. So I watched some YouTube videos, shout out to Wild Wonderful Off Grid. I watched their video and they did, um, I don't know if it was two by six or two by eights, but they sandwiched them together, made, made big beams. And so um, I saw that which saved us a lot of money and a lot of headache. I think it ended up saving us, was it 400 to $800? Yes. I can't remember. It saved a lot. So yeah. we sandwiched three three uh, two by six by 16s together and made roughly, it's not a six by six, but it's a four and a half by uh, five and a half. Uh, so technically almost a six by six. And then from what we heard, we don't know if this is true, this is what people commented, said that's actually stronger than a six by six. So we ended up using six total per beam to make a six by six by 32 instead of two uh, six by six by 16s and it really worked out for us doing the two by six by 16s whatever you guys do whatever you want to do do it but for us we're not professionals we're not true builders we're just two people trying to build our forever hopefully forever tiny home but we ended up buying three inch deck screws for $35.98 and a thousand nails for our framing nailer for $34.98. Mm -hmm. So just at this point, we built the beams going across on top of all that. And those beams, the screws and the nails cost $508.36. That's a lot of money. Again, we're like mm -hmm. starting to add it up in our head. Should we have done a cement slab? Did we mess up? What would be the total cost? We're gonna get into that if we did a cement slab. But for now, we had the concrete in the ground, we had the post coming up, and now we have our beams going across. What's next? This is where we start building the top part, and this is where it gets super expensive. Yes. Many trips to uh, Lowe's and uh, lo lumber yards and stuff, and uh, we had to just buy literally racks of lumber uh, we didn't hand load them or nothing, just big oh. racks that were already bundled together. There'd be no way. It was a lot. It's how many boards? So we ended up uh, needing 198 two by six by 16s. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all understand how many that is. That's a <laughs> That's lot. $14.58 each. 
So we spent $2,886.84 just on two by six by 16s. Yeah. That doesn't even include all the other two by six by 16s we already bought. This is just for the top. Yeah. Uh, so we did that and then at first we were using two by six by 16s and cutting them in half so we could uh, stagger our joints on top. And we're like, all right, this is a lot of extra cutting on our next trip. Let's get um, two by six by eight. And it didn't make a difference in the price versus getting <laughs> not at all the by eights or by the 16. Yeah, because a two by six by eight is seven dollars and eight cents, and a two by six by 16 is fourteen dollars and fifty eight cents. So we ended up saving like forty cents or so. We got sixty four two by six by eights. They were seven dollars a piece. That was four hundred and fifty three dollars and twelve cents. Then on top of that, we went and bought big boxes of framing nails mm -hmm. and uh, there were 4,000 nails in each box and each box cost $80.98. And so we ended up having to spend $161.96 just for the nails for the top. So just for all the boards on top and the nails was $3,501 and 92 cents just for the boards on top. Then we went back because we had 16 foot gaps on the bottom. We weren't 100% sure how it was gonna bow or have some bounce or whatever. We went uh, halfway through on both sides and we put four by fours um, under there. We bought four by four by eights and we cut them to fit uh, down to the ground. We dug two foot holes again and we put concrete. So we ended up buying five four by four by eight, because we basically cut them in half and used it for each one. And uh, those are $14.50 each. So buying five of them uh, ended up being $72.50. And then we needed bags of concrete to cement them in the ground. This and time it was the fast setting. We got fast setting and there were 50 pound bags this time. And we got 10 bags and they were $6.99 each. So that was $69.90 for the concrete just for that. So just adding in the four by four post to beef up the bottom, we would have done six by sixes. They didn't have any yeah. at the time. So we ended up getting four by fours, which has worked perfectly fine for That'd us. It was extra bracing. So that was $142.40. I don't know if you guys have been adding it up uh, with us, if you're keeping track. So the total for all of the deck, a 32 by 32 foot deck, mm -hmm ended up being five thousand five hundred seventy four dollars and 23 you? cents yeah. five thousand five hundred and seventy four dollars and 23 cents that's a lot of money it is for a deck a but. lot of people are saying you probably could have got a concrete slab for the same price so mm -hmm. before we jump into that let's jump into what it costs for the actual grain bin mm -hmm. so we were looking we wanted to move an old water tank we couldn't get it done. Uh -huh. Danielle came across the bean, the bin king, the bean king, <laughs> came across the bin king online. There's just something in my heart about it. I'm yeah. dead set on this. This is what I want. We decided to go with a 24 foot wide because our old water tank was 22 feet wide. Yeah. We could physically see that one and see, okay, I think this is the right size. Yeah. We ended up putting $1,000 down mm -hmm. for the bin and he told us exactly, showed us pictures, videos of them it taking great. it down. Yeah. He was, it was perfect from start to finish, working with the bin king. Uh, how much was the total for the bin? Total was 7,000, that includes labor. Yes, in mm -hmm. labor, the bin, the transporting everything. it, everything was $7,000 total for the bin itself. As far as getting the deck built, a 32 by 32 foot deck, plus the bin on top was a total of $12,574.23 mm -hmm. for everything you see back there as of right now. All right, so here's where all the big questions happen. Why did you do a deck? Why did you do a 32 by 32 foot deck? Why didn't you, why did you center it? Why didn't you move it? Why, 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 why do you do concrete everything? So uh, we did a deck because uh, the Ben King actually recommended putting it on a deck. He had just that day delivered one on a deck. Yeah. He did say a lot of times with doing the concrete foundation, the circle, it's never right. So he goes to put it on and 
it's, it's hanging off. Yeah. It's not correct. It's not always level. There's always, he said there's always something. He's done 400 of these. Mm -hmm. Let's build the deck. Let's do this. And he said, it's going to be easier for you to get under, do your plumbing. Uh, you're not, it's not dedicated. Once you do a slab, you put your pipe in, uh, your PVC pipe, all that, your drains, all that. You have to stick to what it is. You have to know ahead of time what's going on. I highly recommend the deck. I said, well, how do you anchor it to the deck? How do you keep it like a slab is a hardcore slab you anchor it in great he said don't worry about it we have brackets we've done it before we anchor it into your deck it's gonna be perfectly fine and uh, that's exactly what they did on here so uh, we have the option now to change our floor plan and get under and do the plumbing we've done plumbing before we've done electrical we've done all the stuff on a deck or on pier and beam before doing a shed to house tiny house all that type of stuff we feel a lot more comfortable doing it this way yeah. and it gives us wiggle room if we mess up a little bit when we uh, put stuff in the inside it's really not a big deal as long as you're not cutting through a joist going straight down so we did it as low as we possibly could in the back and uh, made it as low as we could in the front but our ground isn't level so now just imagine if we did a concrete slab so for one, like you just said, it's not level, that would mean dirt work. A lot of dirt work. And then on top of that, we would have to know our exact floor plan and know exactly where on that slab that bin was going to yeah. make sure all the plumbing was correct. So on top of that, the cost. Uh, luckily for us, my twin brother just poured a concrete slab down in South Texas. South Texas Roots. South Texas Roots. Check him out. Check out his video. We'll try to link it or put it down in the comment or something. And uh, he just poured a slab and we were talking and I was showing him this and uh, he said that his ended up being a 20 by 30 slab with two porches, an 8 by 10 porch and a 10 by 20 porch, which technically is less square footage than a 32 by 32 and his was over nine thousand dollars for that slab so we already saved half the price mm -hmm. we have already started working on floor plans a lot of you guys have sent us floor plans a lot Thank of you guys you. have sent us video ideas uh pinterest stuff y'all have yeah. blown us up with it so we are dialing in uh the way we're going to do everything so we appreciate you guys doing that. It's helping us out. That'll be one of the next videos coming up is what exactly are we doing? How is everything gonna be laid out? How's it gonna look? We're gonna try our best to really show you guys uh, our ideas and all that. But hopefully this video breaks down the total cost. And if it's something you wanna do, maybe now you can see, is this in our budget? Is this better than doing a shed to house, a tiny house? Mm -hmm. So hopefully this video cleared up the uh, questions y'all had about how much it costs, how you're doing plumbing, what's your future plans, is it better to do this uh, rather than a shed to house, tiny house, anything like that. We broke it down the best we could and hopefully you guys learned something from us. So all right guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Next time, I think we're going inside. We're gonna show you guys what we got in store.